Well, hey friends, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mandy, and this is Sweetly Home, and today I've got a really exciting video to share with you, and I'm just, like, so excited to film this. Today's video, I am going to be walking you through the Erin Condren Teacher Planner for 2019-2020. I am so excited to share with you this planner and stay tuned because I'm actually giving away a teacher planner and a couple other goodies. I am a homeschooling mama of two and two, not four, two. I'm a homeschooling mom of two and I've used the Erin Condren teacher planner for the last two years. This makes this my third year. I've loved it. It's really helped with my planning um, of our school days and keeping track of things. I love all of the colors that Erin um, Condren includes in her products. It just makes planning fun. I also love that you can personalize your covers and so many details about the planner and this year is probably one of the best yet. I was so excited for when they were actually going to launch. I was like stalking uh, their Instagram account and um, following along with other Instagrammers who were actually sharing sneak peeks. I was all over it y'all. So I ordered my planner on launch day. I ordered a bunch of other goodies. You can catch my unboxing uh, by following the link up above. A couple of days later I noticed that my order did not include the sheet protectors um, that I had ordered. I had ordered an additional uh, few sheet protectors and I was missing one. So I contacted the customer service and they offered to ship me another sheet protector and I said sure that's fine by me and lo and behold I actually got a whole other planner sent to me. So I don't need to and I would really love to gift this planner to one of you. So during the course of this video I will have all of the details on how you can win that planner. I also have a couple of other goodies uh, from Erin Condren that I'm going to include with the planner um, and I'm just really excited to be able to bless one of you with an Erin Condren teacher planner. What? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the whole layout of everything. Let me share with you what's inside and then we'll talk about giveaway details. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so here is the planner. This is an eight and a half by 11 type planner. Um, their typical life planners are seven by nine. So this is much larger. You can actually customize your coil. You can get a gold coil, um, rose gold and black or just the platinum. Um, platinum, you don't have to pay any extra and so I just opted to go with the platinum. Um, you can choose your cover and this is one of the styles uh, for covers this year. They have so many super cute designs. It was it was kind of hard to choose, but I was really drawn to this one. This is my favorite. You can actually get this in your own custom colorway as well. So if you um, are a teacher of a public school or private school and you have school colors, you could get this customized with your school colors, or maybe you just have a colorway that you really, really like. You are able to choose that option for this cover. Um, they have specific teacher like school themed covers but then they also have just regular covers and you can actually switch these out. All Erin Condren teacher products and all of their planners actually allow you to um, switch out covers. These just pull off um, and then you just push the little teeth back into the coil and your cover stays in place nice and well. Um, so you can change these out. You can change them out seasonally or every month or you can just keep the same one. It's really up to you and I love that you can customize that option. So on the bottom um, or wherever on the planner, they do have a spot where you can customize your planner with your school name or with your name or a quote. Um, our school name is Abundant Life Academy, so I do have that on here. And you can choose how you want your fonts to look if you want them all capitalized. Um, I tend to do that a lot with um, some of my um, the fonts and the words that I choose, I just make them all capital. Um, it looks really clean and nice. Um, so you can play around with those options. They do have a, um, you're able to preview everything on their website so you know what you're getting. Um, I also included a Yates quote on the bottom, um, education is not filling of a pail, but lighting of a fire. And that is kind of what I want our homeschool to look like. So this is the back of my planner. 
And again, it's this apples theme and you are able to customize the back as well by adding a picture. Um, it does cost extra, but uh, you do have that option. Another thing about the planner that you get is one of these snap-in rulers. So this does come off. The ruler is in a triangle theme. Um, typically, Erin Condren has a theme for out, throughout all of their planners. Um, the theme for the life planners is a kaleidoscope theme, and every year that theme is always the same. However, this year they decided to do a different theme for the teacher planners, and they've done a triangle theme. So that's what you're going to kind of see throughout the planner and any of the teacher accessories. They have this um, triangle theme. So you will go, you will get. Um, a snap in ruler as part of your planner. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. So on the back of your cover, you have what looks like a sheet of paper, um, and what it is is an area that you can jot notes or quotes or important dates. You would write on this with wet erase marker, not dry erase, because dry erase will rub off on the other on this paper here. Erin Condren does sell wet erase markers. You can get some at just any office supply store, um, but this is a really great space, and I like to write um, quotes and Bible verses in here to encourage me throughout the year. And again, this does, it, the wet erase markers will wipe off. Erin uh, Condren does sell um, wet wipes that can take that off for you as well. Again, you can get something like that similar at an office supply store, but they do carry those products um, on the website, Erin Condren website. So this is what the first page looks like. Um, it, you've got that colorful um, triangle theme running throughout the top here, and you have a space here where you can um, write who the book belongs to. Um, their planners are made in the USA, and they hand coil everything as well. So which is why sometimes, like with my sheet protectors, something can get missed. So it is always important to go through your planner to make sure everything is included. Okay, so then you open up the planner and you have an all about me section and you've got a spot for your name, your school, the year that it is, and some contact information. Um, you've got a spot here for your classroom resources and websites and passwords. Um, over on the next page, you have a page for events and volunteers, and um, you've got two blank boxes so you can fill them how you would like. Um, and down below there's classroom events and date information. So you can, if you are a homeschooler and some of this stuff doesn't apply to you, there's a lot of ways that you can customize your planner um, to you in your homeschool. You can easily um, just washi over this information. You can add stickers over it. Um, there's a few different ways to customize it. Um, I don't let things like this stop me from using this planner because it's so easily easy to be customized. So next, um, your, you've got your first tab and is actually your contact tab. So that is all of, you know, this information here. So there are tabs here on the side. And then you move into a communication log. For homeschoolers, I've seen this used a lot as um, books that you, you and your um, kids have read. So you've got a spot here for your date, you've got the name and the reason or whether the issue was resolved. So if you are a classroom teacher, this is a great place to keep um, all that information for your communication. Your next tab is your 2019-2020 tab. And here you have got your calendars. So you've got your um, 2019 into 2020 calendars all laid out for you. Um, Aaron Condren sells some transparent dot stickers and you can use those dots to do some color coding in your planner. For instance, your start dates, any holidays, any vacations that you're taking or specific testing times. Um, you, there's just a lot of different ways that you can use these planning pages. Not even just so much as to check the date, but to keep con keep um, a record of what is happening during the year. Next, you have your year plan. And you've got boxes all the way from January to December. This is a really great place to keep track of any holidays or um, if you've got specific themes for the month or birthdays, like whatever it is, you let your creativity run wild. I like that at the top and bottom of the pages, they've got that triangle theme um, and it's colorful and it's fun, it's simple, um, but it just adds a bit of color to the page. 
Your next tab is your graphing paper. It says graph. We've got four sheets of graph paper actually. Um, up at the top here it says log it, graph it, map it, group it, track it. You can create seating charts, organize groups, track learning assessments, and log other important information. And then you've got some lined paper. And again, you've got that kaleidoscope theme at the top as a header. And then you're going to move into your months. Now, one of the really great things about the Erin Condren Teacher Planner is that you can customize your start dates. So they have four different options for start dates for their planners. You could start at July 2019. You could start at August 2019. You could start at um, January of 2020 and there was one other one that I'm totally escaping at the moment. Um, I can't remember what it is, um, but there are different options. I actually chose mine to start in August. So August is this yellow colorway. So these are the pages that start out your month. So you get a sheet of lined paper to just, you know, jot out all of the things. You've got um, three quarters of the page with lines. And then at the bottom, you've got a section with dates to remember, and it does say the month, so dates to remember in August. They are bulleted lists with a little um, Aaron Condren asterisk that they're so famous for, that's part of their logo. Um, and each month does come with a custom colorway, so this is August and it's yellow. Um, down here, I'll show you something in the back that is brand new to the Life Planner this year um, that will help you with this dates to remember part that I think is so awesome. So you have some prep work pages for your month uh, ahead, which I always think is so great. Then you turn the sheet and then you're into your month. So this is August. Again, it's that yellow triangle um, colorway. You've got a spot on the side for some notes. You've got the September calendar. So you get one month ahead um, to kind of see what's going on in the next month um, to check your dates. And then you've got a calendar with really substantial boxes to write whatever it is you need for the upcoming month. Then we flip the page and we start into our planning section. Um, and this is the meat of the planner where you're gonna be filling in all your information for um, your week. So up at the top here, you have your date, your July 2019, and all of the teacher planners are dated. So you always know like, it's Monday, July 29th, or it's Thursday, August 1st. It's all dated for you so you, um, you know, you know what it is. And the way that Erin Condren works with their monthly themes is if your week is starting in a different month, if Monday is in a different month like it is here, you're going to get the colorway for that particular month. So we've got the beginning of July and then it starts into August down below with the yellow colorway. So that's how they kind of work that out um, for their planners. So let me just flip you into what August looks like here. So it's just this yellow colorway and it starts out darker and then it goes down to lighter. You've got your box here with um, the date and everything is lined, which I so appreciate. Um, I had my eye on a different planner this year, but it didn't have the lines and that was honestly part of a deal breaker for me. There were some other reasons I didn't go that route, but I really need these lines. Um, I believe there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven lines um, that you can fit a lot of information in. Up at the top here, you can write your header for the week. So um, what I typically do, because I only have two students, is I write their subjects. So language arts, math, um, science, history, kindergarten, and then electives or whatever. Erin um, Condren has now come out with labels that you can get customized for your different subjects or headings, whatever you want to put in these boxes. You can choose the colorway and you can choose, you know, the words and you get two lines of text as well. So I'm actually going to be doing that. Um, I actually have them filled out and I'm ready to click purchase. So yeah, so you've got that option. Um, some people will, like I said, will do all of their subjects 
for their headings. If you have more than a couple of students, you could actually use one column per student and work your plans out that way so that Monday um, Aubrey gets this entire box and this entire box is her Monday sort of work um, and do things that way. So you can customize it how you need it to be. And then I'm not sure if I mentioned, but here um, you've got a whole column just of lines to use for whatever. Add another student or add notes to yourself or anything. So yeah, so you've got your, your month and then you move into the next month. So next month is September and we start again with our planning pages. So you've got um, the purple colorway for September and it's basically the same all throughout. I'll flip through and I'll share with you the colorways so you can see. So September is purple, October is orange, November is teal, tealy blue, and then December is green, and then January, February, kind of matches my shirt I'm wearing right now, March, April, whoops, April, May, June, and then July. Okay, so you got your 12 months, and then at the end of the 12 months, there are a few sheets of lined paper. And then you have a tab for checklist. So this is what your checklists look like. These are, um, they say student checklist. Use these columns to keep track of permission slips, turned in assignments, and even test scores. So you've got a column to write your student's name. And then you have this really pretty rainbow color of columns with spots to make check marks. Um, the one thing that they have here is um, you get, I think it's seven pages of check checklists. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven ch checklists. Um, so what you can do is if you're using this for a classroom of students is you can fold or cut along this line here so you don't have to rewrite everybody's name and then um, your checklists all line up. So if you're a homeschooling parent, there are, again, there's ways that parents use this these pages to customize. There's lots of ideas on, um, on YouTube and Instagram. And when I do my planner setup, I'll share some of those with you. But yeah, so you get lots of checklists. I think these pages are so pretty. Okay, and then we have this beautiful sheet, and this is the triangle pattern, um, and it says teaching is more than imparting knowledge, it is inspiring change, and you got some information about Erin Condren itself, um, their contact information, their website, and how to earn rewards on their products, which is really, really awesome, and it's what allows me to get um, products. I use my rewards. Okay, so in every Erin Condren teacher planner and calendar, they include stickers. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stickers um, for this year. They are all, I believe, yeah, they're all in gold foil. Uh, most of the times they do gold and silver, but um, they've just stuck with gold this year. So you've got um, a lot of like staff meeting, after school, testing, don't forget stickers. You've got icons. Now these icons all match up with all of the months. So you can use all of these in one specific colorway for that month. So they all, you know, line up and match. And then we've got some more stickers. They've got these little notepad, note 
pad sheets, which I think are so cool. Um, you've got some gold apples, first day, 50th day, 100th day, and last day. You've got field trips, reminders, assemblies, conferences, important. You've got great job, note to self, awesome, big day, just all kinds of really pretty stickers to either stick in your planner or even stick on a student's um, worksheet or paper or whatever. Um, now, then you've got this sheet, which I think is so pretty. Um, so you've got these headers, actually. So if you even have like a specific week that is super important, or there's some important dates that you want to highlight, um, you can use these headers in your planner um, for your like weekly planning pages. And um, you can highlight like specific dates with They've got this pretty gold topping and the color. And again, these are customized to the colorway of the month. Um, not all the months are here. There's only nine, but um, you know, you get the idea. Then I love these stickers. Um, so you've got a few different quotes and then you've got some more important little reminders here with a cute little paper clip. Erin Condren does sell um, sticker packs and sticker books and there are teacher themed ones and I got the teacher themed one for this year and it's so cute I love it okay and then lastly you get some of these um event stickers is what they call them um it has a gold asterisk and then you're able to write whatever it is on these um so they're about that big and yeah, and they're customized again to the color of the month. So you can really make your planner all match or you can mix and match or do whatever you'd like. But um, I like that they do have that option. So you got four sheets of stickers and then you have this beautiful pocket. They did redesign the pocket this year. Um, it's a very strong pocket and you can fit a lot of papers in here. That was another thing with another planner I was looking at. The um, pocket didn't hold it was difficult to put in just even one or two pieces of paper but with the Aaron Condren pocket you can stuff a lot of paper in here the old planners um, from previous years had a smaller pocket here on the bottom and it was only just a couple of inches wide and what they have done is they've gone ahead and made the pocket the same so it is that same large pocket to hold your papers in and again, it's in that really pretty um, triangle pattern. Okay, so then you have got your sheet protectors. Now you can add extra sheet protectors to your planner. Um, I, that was what I was looking for in my planner. I definitely did want more sheet protectors. Um, you can order up to three and they're just like a dollar or two. I think a dollar fifty each. So I've got my three. Now this is the thing that I was telling you about in the beginning. Um, what they have done in years past, what they did was they had um, on specific dates, they had holidays and they had um, people, noteworthy people's birthdays, but they were finding that for some people, they didn't celebrate those birthdays or that was there were holidays that weren't relevant or there were holidays that weren't included. And so to make as many people happy as possible, <laughs> what they've done is they've actually made these sticker sheets. So I went ahead and zoomed you in so you could kind of take a look at these a little bit better. These are customized, again, to the month um, that they appear in, and each month does tell you. So this is September 2019, so you make sure that you can put the right dates um, on the right month. So you get a few additional stickers, like these are some page flags and um, little stickers like teardrops that, you know, can denote something important. Um, and then they went ahead and they have listed out holidays. And then you have blanks. So if you have birthdays that month or if there's something particular that your family celebrates um, that they don't have a sticker for, you can fill that in as well. So you've got 12 months worth of these stickers that I just think are so awesome. So you could put these stickers um, in that area where it said, you know, dates to remember, or you can stick this on the calendar portion itself, or you could put it even in the um, weekly section of your planner. So lots of different options there, and I love this feature. Okay, so you have your page protectors, and you get one page protector, and you can get up to three. And then you have got your cover. 
and this is your back cover and again it has that white erase portion this one is not lined and that my friends is the 2019 2020 Erin Condren teacher planner Okay friends, I hope you loved taking a peek inside. I know I was so excited to share it with you and I can't wait to start customizing my planner and getting things started to be filled in. So let's talk about giveaway details. I'm gonna have everything listed in the description box below. So if I happen to miss saying something, please check out there first um, to make sure that all the details are nailed out. So here's what you're gonna win. You are gonna win your own Erin Condren teacher planner. I'm also going to include in the giveaway two other items. So the first thing is this school tracker dashboard. Um, this just will clip right into your planner. I have one of these in my current teacher planner. Um, it's got a spot for your top priorities, a key, um, classes and assignments and due dates, um, things to remember on the bottom. You've also on the got on the back side you've got a whole school tracker so it's got the week where you can write whatever um, you can do long-term assignments upcoming quizzes and tests and next week um, and then the other thing that I'm going to include is this dashboard so this is a snap-in dashboard it's similar just like I showed you with the ruler it does peel in and out um, and this is what it's gonna look like in your planner you have a spot for copies, grade, and contact information. And on the back, there's also a to buy area and um, a looking ahead area. So um, these are gonna be thrown into the giveaway. So here's how you win. First, you need to be a resident of the United States or Canada. I apologize to all my international friends. I get it. I get excluded from a lot of giveaways too. I understand. Um, maybe we'll have something else for you at another point. So you need to either be a resident of the United States or Canada. You also need to be a follower of my YouTube channel. Um, I will be checking. There's a way to check, so I will be checking. I really want to make sure that this planner is going to someone who would really use it and love it and who really is deserving of it. That's what I'm really hoping happens. Um, I don't feel it was an accident that I got two planners. I just, I want to be able to bless somebody. And I want to make sure that whoever gets this planner needs it. So the third thing that you need to do is leave me a comment and let me know who you teach. Are you a classroom teacher? Are you a homeschool parent or a homeschool grandma or whatever? Who are you teaching in your world? Um, I know that some people purchase these planners to use for other purposes, but I really want to bless a teacher of some sort, whether you teach homeschool or whether you teach in a classroom. So that's it. Um, I will have the details of when the giveaway will end. I do need to make sure that you have a way to be contacted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, once I draw the name, um, I am going to answer your comment and say, hey, you won. Um, and you're gonna need to be able to get in touch with me. I have my email address in the description box of the video. Um, I will contact you and let you know that you won and you're going to need to email me and we'll get in co connection so that I can mail you your planner <laughs> as soon as possible so you can start using it. Okay, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!